This means that in plasma there are certain factors which are involved in order to clot the plasma and these factors are known as coagulation factors. Coagulation factors are mainly synthesized in the liver with exception of few coagulation factors that are not synthesized in the liver. Whenever injury occur, there are certain mechanisms which are involved and the first thing that help to stop the bleeding is known as platelet. Platelet help in plugging the injury site and stop the bleeding. But this is very delicate formation of plug which can easily eradicate th through blood flow. Therefore secondary coagulation help to strengthen this platelet plug which is known as secondary hemostasis. And in secondary hemostasis, coagulation factors help to strengthen the primary plug of platelet. So there is a difference between a bleeding disorder and clotting disorder. So in clotting disorder, the plasma is unable to clot. For example, those disorders in which there is clotting factor deficiency like factor 8 which is known as hemophilia. In hemophilia, the plasma is unable to clot, therefore we call it as clotting disorder. So all coagulation factors, either one or multiple coagulation factor, if it is deficient in a particular patient, so we call it as clotting disorder. While bleeding disorders are those disorders in which the primary hemostatic plug is unable to form. As a result of that, bleeding will not stop. So we call it as bleeding disorder. So now there is a big difference between a clotting disorder and a bleeding disorder. So in bleeding disorder mostly platelets are adhesive proteins if it is deficient so bleeding will not stop. While in clotting disorder coagulation factor if it is deficient so they call it as clotting disorder. For the diagnosis of clotting disorders and bleeding disorder, there are certain tests which are performed. For example, bleeding time. If bleeding time is prolonged, so we call it as bleeding disorder. But on the other hand, if clotting time is prolonged, so we call it as clotting disorder. In clotting disorder, APDT is usually prolonged. There are certain conditions in which there is prolonged bleeding time. For example, thrombocytopenia which is a quantitative disorder of platelet, qualitative disorder of platelet in which there is functional deficiency of platelet that the function of the platelet is disturbed. Similarly, one valibrand factor deficiency because one valibrand factor help in the adhesion of platelet to the injured site. Similarly, if there is afibrinogenemia Afibrinogenemia is a disorder in which there is no formation of fibrinogen and fibrinogen is very very important in order to form a bridge between two platelets means that it help in the aggregation of platelet. So that's why bleeding time will be prolonged. While on the other hand coagulation factor deficiency like hemophilia A, hemophilia B, hemophilia C, similarly other coagulation factors like uh, coagulation factor 2 which is also known as prothrombin, coagulation factor 5, coagulation factor 7, coagulation factor 13, coagulation factor 12. So all these factor deficiency lead to clotting disorder. So this is the main difference between a clotting disorder and a bleeding disorder. So hope so that you would like my video. Like if you like. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum.